Okay, in this equation, we have diborane plus water. So let's see what happens. Let's count the atoms up, see if we can balance it. We have two of the boron atoms, six hydrogens. Make sure you count these two as well though. So we have a total of eight hydrogen atoms, one oxygen atom. On the product side, we have boron, one of those, hydrogens, three. And again, there's some out here, we need to count those. Five total, three oxygens. Hmm. Let's balance the borons first and see what happens. We need to put a two as our coefficient right here. And when we do that, that'll change everything. So let's update all these numbers. So now we have three oxygens times two. That'll give us six oxygens. Then we have boron one times two, two of those. Hydrogen three times two is six plus these two out here. So we have eight. So it seems like we're almost balanced but we've got to get this oxygen right, so we're going to need to put a six in front of the H2O. That's going to change the hydrogen and the oxygen. So for the hydrogens, we have the six right here, plus two times six is 12. So now we have 18 hydrogen atoms, one times six, six oxygens. So we've balanced the oxygen atoms, but the hydrogens are off by quite a bit. So since hydrogens alone, that's going to make it somewhat easy to balance this. So let's think about it. We have six plus some number, we need it to equal 18. 6 plus 12, that equals 18. So we need to get 12 more hydrogens. And if we put a 6 here, 2 times 6, that's 12. 6 plus 12 is 18. And we're done. This equation's balanced. One thing that makes this complicated for people is we have all these different hydrogens, and you have to be very careful when you're counting them up to balance this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for B2H6 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.